All right, welcome back to a new watch review. Uh, as you can see, we have a Tissot, and this one actually is one that I I was looking for since a few years now, and finally I got it. So let me just uh, take everything out, and then I'm gonna show you the watch. So today we're gonna go fancy. I have a white glove on. <laughs> wow. And so let's just take the packaging off. So a typical Tissot box with watches, watches since 1853. Uh, T and the cross on the back. As normal, we have these two little books. Okay, not gonna get it out. Whatever. Um, catalog, which watches are in the program at the moment, and then this little book about the history of the soul, which is really really nice to read. Uh, small in size, you can take along uh, on a bus ride or train ride. And uh, yeah, today it's all about the uh, PRS. 516 automatic gen swatch in black on a black rubber strap, uh, sorry, on a black uh, leather strap. So, as you know, typical box here on the top, you're gonna find a travel case, a little thing you can take out, and then uh, some space for the movement book. On the right side, we have again some stuff uh, the warranty card, uh, just bought it yesterday and uh, the watch itself. So let's take the watch out and I'm gonna show you all around about Alright, so let's get the facts uh, first. It's a stainless steel case, 10 bar water resistant, uh, up to 100 meters or 330 feet. It has a, a sapphire crystal, obviously. Um, comes in different colors, comes with silver, comes in a blue, uh, comes in this black. Uh, either on a leather strap, on a, a stainless steel strap, or on a kind of stainless steel strap with holes and then with kind of a mesh in the back. Looks a bit weird, uh, not my really choice. Um, I kind of wanted to have the one with a metal strap, but they didn't have it available. And uh, I got a good deal on it, so I said, okay, uh, what the hell, uh, just let's take it with the leather strap. And actually it looks quite nice. And uh, though you have to be very careful because uh, I'm here in Dubai, so it's really hot, and uh, this is nothing for really summer. So what else? Uh, it's a 2836-2 movement, automatic, mechanical. So basically, it's charging while while using, basically while wearing it. As you can see, the flywheel is spinning. And has a little bit of a, a retro design here with this supposed to be kind of a steering wheel. Let me get closer so you can see some details. It says sapphire crystal, you have the reference number, water resistant, Tissot and so on. I think it's really, really nice. I really like this look through cases. Um, polished on the side so you have to be very careful with it. Then uh, the top ring, uh, the bezel, you cannot turn it, it's fixed and it's like a, uh, how you call it? Brushed, brushed aluminum, brushed not aluminum, brushed design. Uh, the loom, even though it looks like you have it on the on the hands, uh, I call it on on the dials. They are not. It's just on the hour hand and minute hand. And uh, as you can see, you have the date. You have the day, and uh, the date you can have either like I have it here with the number of the day of the week, so six day of the week Saturday, or you can just have it on Saturday. Then you have the PRS 516 automatic, 100 meters, 330 feet, Swiss made. Um, I really, really like this watch. Uh, it looks beautiful. I always wanted to have this one, as I said, since I think four or five years. I don't know why I waited for so long, um, but finally I got it. So let me just put it on the wrist and uh, then I show you how it looks. Okay, here we go. I have a 17 and a half centimeter uh, wrist, so. Now you can see more or less how it will look. You have this polished uh, Tissot clasp here and, um, with a T uh, logo on it. It has a double clasp, so you basically just open it. Sorry, obviously you have to take it out from here. And then it will open very easily. And as I say, double clasp. At first, the right side, then the left side. Put it in. Here we go. 
I really like this because this will actually preserve the leather a little bit longer. Uh, either way, it will wear out at one point. Um, but this way, you don't have to bend the leather all the time. Um, just open it up and that's it. So it's very easy to get on and off. And as I said, it's a very beautiful watch. Sporty design. Uh, maybe a bit difficult to read in the dark. Because as I said, only the hand, uh, hour hand and minute hand uh, has a loom, the rest doesn't have. Uh, I really like this T kind of design, uh, the uh, second hand um, with the Tissot T. And uh, black on black looks really nice. The blue one doesn't look bad either, but you only really see it in, in bright light. Uh, you don't see it in the evening or when it's dark. Um, I think the price for this one is something around 400 euro, 375 euro I saw online, 400 euro uh, um, regular price. Uh, I got a good deal on it so I took it and uh, just adds to the collection. So if you have any questions or comments leave them below, subscribe, uh, share, like and see you next time. Cheers!